Hey everybody, welcome to Raising Vibrations. And um, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a theme that I think would be really important for us to pay attention to. Uh, and this is the road to the Great Conjunction. And this is happening uh, with Jupiter and uh, Saturn on the 21st of December, 2020. It's a very big event within the context of the astrological community. And um, for us globally and individually, this is a very big uh, transition for us. So what I'd like to share with you is the intention behind myself and Jen, we've created some content that is gonna be able to support you uh, as we move from here, this point over here, to the actual conjunction that takes place. So the road to the Great Conjunction is in its message, at least from our perception and what we see to be um, valuable, is it's a process of embodiment. Okay, it's the it's the the message here is the embodiment of your truth. Okay, and between now and twenty at uh, the twenty first of December, it is the action and the alignment and the actual stepping into and owning your truth. So everything in two thousand and twenty and probably two thousand nineteen as well have been very much setting up the stage and planning and building and you know rehearsing you know, lots of healing that's been taking place uh, tremendous amount of internal shifts we've gone through a lot emotionally we've grown a lot emotionally and we've created a new sense of orientation that we want to live by and so as uh, jupiter and pluto make a conjunction and mars goes direct we are heading into the the curtains opening and we're standing in front of the world or in front uh, on the stage and we're now exposed and this is where you step into the limelight you step into your platform and you begin to explore and own what it is that you've been learning healing and processing for 2020 Okay, so in order for us to be able to, or how this, this, uh, how we can be supporting you and supporting ourselves, as in recognizing the work for ourselves as well, uh, between now and the end of the year, what we've done is we've created a playlist, okay, that has videos that speak separately to very important transits that we consider to be um, peak phases in and on the road to the actual great conjunction. So uh, you'll see in the playlist, there is a Jupiter and Pluto conjunction. You'll see there's a Mars direct conjunction. You'll see that there is um, the new moon in Scorpio. Uh, Neptune goes direct. And then we have the lunar eclipse in Gemini, the solar eclipse in Sagittarius, and then eventually the great conjunction. And there we will be putting videos in that playlist. And this is, here to support us and to help us digest and process the different phases that we'll be going through and integration points or checkpoints between now and the end of the year, okay? And it's pretty significant, you know, there's a, there's a lot going on. Um, there is an article on our website as well. Some of you may have already read that and that's how you got to this point. But if you're watching this on YouTube, um, I'll put the links to the playlist as well as our website where you can read our article, just kind of brief um, uh, uh, blurbs of what we consider to be really, really important relative to the different uh, transits. So when Neptune goes direct, what to expect uh, and so on and so forth. Okay. And of course the videos and the message here is really clear. Jupiter goes direct or sorry, not Jupiter goes direct goes direct. <laughs> it's almost as if Mercury's retrograde. Um, Jupiter and Pluto make a conjunction. Okay. But Jupiter is still in a closing phase to Saturn. So we're in this interesting dynamic where uh, Jupiter is conjuncting Pluto and it's making this incredibly profound um, clearing out, which I talk about in great detail. And, but it's still closing to, to Saturn. So we're still wanting to move forward, but processing the past, right? Then we have Mars going direct, and that's a kind of deep core alignment, you know, a sense of perception, 
that um, we begin to see and then we make new choices under old circumstances. Then we have the new moon in Scorpio, which is like a plethora of profound insight and wisdom that just floods into our awareness that allows us to see things in completely different ways. You will see old patterns and you'll be able to look at these old patterns with compassionate eyes and also with eyes of letting go, you know, no longer want to stay in these disempowered states. And then we're going to have um, Neptune square the nodes going direct. And of course, this is a big deal because Neptune moving direct creates a shockwave within our awareness that allows us to feel that there's meaning. So think of it as Jupiter-Pluto conjunction that leads into Mars direct. So Jupiter-Pluto revelations, new direction with Mars going direct, transformation and the recognition of old beliefs and compassion with new moon in Scorpio. And then we're going to have Neptune going direct and that's when we're going to be flooded with the meaning to actually see that this new journey is something that we really want to commit to. We really want to invest our time and energy into because it has meaning in it. And we'll also feel how the spirit of the past no longer has anything to us, right? It feels limiting. It feels like it's come to a dead end. So as we move through Neptune uh, direct, we'll then have a lunar eclipse in Gemini, right? And this entire energy is like everybody is just going to be talking and the likelihood of everybody being able to listen is going to be very apparent, you know? So watch what happens with that lunar eclipse in, in Gemini. We're really going to see just so many voices. Imagine that, that as I encouraged you right now to see that now you're stepping on your own platform, on your own podium, and you're going to say, hey, I exist. You know, here I am. This is my truth. Well, everybody on some level is going to have a sense that that is something that they need to do. So can you just imagine the amount of noise that's going to permeate into our awareness of different perspectives? And, you know, this is what's right. This is what's right. This is what you should do. This is what that is. And obviously within the context of that energy, it's to really hear and drop into your inner truth to see what it is that you really value, you know? And um, as we then lead to the, 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 the new moon um, in Sagittarius, now we're going to have the moment of truth the deep awakening of the recognition that it is now time to take and see the old dynamics and what they are and no longer give any attention to them. Because as we give attention to these old dynamics, this is on the 14th of December, and these old truths, we held back and we won't feel as if we're actually moving forward with something because we're still stuck in flashbacks of the past. So it's a very powerful solar eclipse that leads us into an awakening within ourselves around the perspective and the narrative and the truth that we really want to embody and move forward. So the, but by the time we have this Jupiter, um, Saturn conjunction and Aquarius, it is revelations. It's like the path starts to open up. And what you'll see on one side is people that will perceive themselves moving forward, but will be stuck in the past. And you'll see on the other side, the people that will feel that they want to be moving um, forwards or are stuck in the past, but wanting to move forward. Right? So these two dynamics will be very clear on both sides. And the invitation is to actually go into the middle road and to not choose the fear, to not choose the uncertainty, not choose to hate. Right, That will create the polarity because what will happen is you'll see literally two sides looking at each other and not seeing themselves. And so that's what will happen there. We need to heal that split. So there's a, there's a, a deepening of the ability to actually heal the split between the security externally and the need to integrate that security internally. So it actually leads to uh, an encompassing and circling concept in which we're not actually saying to another person that their life is wrong, but we're also at the same time not allowing us to actually accept that for ourselves. And so in a sense, we're healing the split within us. And it's this potential that lies with us with this Jupiter-Saturn conjunction as it leads into an entirely new framework of reality. It's a very beautiful outlay in terms of these key points and what they will show us. But ultimately, we're leading into a place in which a deep sense of internalized safety and security and inner truth and the ability then to align with groups and associations and people that actually uh, resonate with us and people that don't, we just move from that space. So, um, of course, just to encourage you, 
part of this playlist will have deepening of each of these conjunctions and the purpose is to check is to to watch them and to to digest them as they are um for you in your own life so take out your astrology chart and see where these um belief systems or patterns of thinking no longer serve you anymore okay and our website has got our article on it uh, our patreon community we've created um uh, Patreon private calls. So everybody that's on our Patreon community, we've set up some dates where we're going to be holding a space where everybody can be processing. Um, and we'll talk deeper uh, on those videos and of course, what's happening in people's lives. And if you are somebody that's watching for this for the first time, I encourage you to um, check out our Patreon. If that's something that you would like to support on uh, between now and the end of the, the year, there's a link also to check out our Patreon. You can join us there in a community experience where we allow ourselves to, to, um, process what it is that's changing within us at this point in time okay so the road to the great conjunction the embodiment of truth and the alignment and the ability to step into your power and it's a really exciting ex uh, experience and the road to get there is going to be through these little gates or these gates that we're going to we're going to pass through so um all the information as i've shared with you and uh, let's see what happens on the other side of this heroine hero's journey. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.